on the line is Jim Bognett. Uh, we remember Jim, our, uh, the congressional candidate, Republican congressional candidate in last election. Thank you very much. Uh, and uh, let's tell us what you think about Afghanistan. Hey, Bob, thanks for having me. You know, this bungled withdrawal has been an absolute disaster for the country, and Biden's been a disaster. And, but, you know, what really gets me going is that Matt Cartwright put out a statement yesterday bragging about spending $3.5 trillion and he hasn't said anything about Afghanistan. I mean, you're honoring uh, Mr. Schumacher, and, and I honor him, too. We have Marines serving over there right now. They're in harm's way. And the biggest bungle, I think, of all of them is that we closed down Bagram Air Force Base, where this evacuation yeah. could be taking place safely. Biden overruled his generals. The general said, let us keep Bagram open so we can get our boys out of there, and he overruled it. Why isn't Matt Cartwright, Nancy Pelosi, and Bob Casey calling for hearings on that? Instead, they're bragging about spending our money. I, I just think it's a real disaster when we could have gotten our men out through Bagram Air Force Base and, and instead they're, they're Biden also, ordered to shut down. We also could have defended the country, meaning Afghanistan, uh, substantially longer while the withdrawal was taking place if we controlled that air base. It's, it's frightening. And, and the other part about it, and I'm happy you, you bring it up, they use this as cover to spend five and a half trillion dollars and to vote for that odious, those two voting laws that are nothing but a guarantee of voter fraud. Well, I mean, you're, you're right on. I mean, the number one thing happening this week in America is us worried about our men getting out and our women getting out of Afghanistan. And they decide in the middle of the night to push through a $3.5 trillion of spending. And you know what? Matt Cartwright's proud of that. He should be horrified about that, that instead of trying to make sure Afghanistan goes right, we're instead throwing money out the window. Awful. And, and inexcusable to take this time when all the focus should be on correcting the error that their president made and focusing it instead on sneaking something through while people weren't looking. It, it really is an embarrassment. It, it, it's really disgusting. And thank you again for honoring uh, Michael Schumacher and, and all our brave men and women who are fighting. All right, Jim Bagnett, thank you so much for being with us. Thanks for calling in.